Tennis elbow is one of the most common causes of lateral elbow pain, and usually is centered at the lateral epicondyle, which is a bony prominence shown by this arrow. The patients can usually point with one finger exactly where the pain is, and it can be aggravated by wrist and elbow motion. This diagram shows the ECRB tendon, which is the source of the pain. This red dot indicates the site where patients usually experience the pain. X-rays are usually normal in this condition, although the arrow can point to an area where there can be bone spurs. The MRI is not always obtained, but sometimes can show abnormalities within the ECRB tendon, as shown by these three arrows here. Most care for tennis elbow is conservative and can include stretching exercises or usage of a brace such as this. Other treatment options are physical therapy, cortisone injections, and even autologous blood injections. For the patient who has continued pain despite all of the above, open surgery can be done and has about an 80-85% to 85 success rate for relieving the pain. This involves opening the elbow from the lateral side and essentially removing and discarding the diseased tendon. Uh, the most uh, recent iteration of this procedure is an arthroscopic procedure which is done from the outside. Uh, with small incisions and essentially does the same procedure from the inside out. This can theoretically allow faster return to uh, work and leisure activities and allow inspection of the full interior of the joint to rule out other causes of pain. The patient being discussed here is a 45-year-old physically fit active woman with a year-long history of tennis elbow that continues despite all treatment options. She wishes to have tennis elbow surgery and this is an arthroscopy of her elbow. The needle is used to sound the lateral joint and allow placement of a portal, which is being created with this knife blade. A portal is a one centimeter incision which allows introduction of this wand. And this wand is an electrical device which is being used to remove the entire lateral capsule of the joint, which is being done here. The lateral capsule at this level is very confluent with the ECRB tendon, which is the disease structure which needs to be removed. The most important part of this procedure is knowing how much of the tissue needs to be removed. Enough has to be removed that the patient's pain is relieved, but if too much is removed and uh, removal of normal structures is done, that can compromise elbow function. Enough tissue has been removed when you can see this red and white junction, which is starting to appear in the top left corner of the screen. Here, an arthroscopic shaver is being introduced into the joint to clean up any remnants of the diseased tissue. The shaver is a 3.5 millimeter device just to give you some perspective of size in this elbow. <coughs> At the conclusion of the procedure you'll see the EDC tendon which is a shiny white structure in the bottom half of the screen and the ECRL muscle belly which is the reddish structure which is very well defined from the EDC tendon. After the tendon has been exposed and removed, the front half of the joint is inspected from the other side to ensure that there's no other sources of pathology or pain. The back half of the joint is also inspected here, and a stress maneuver is being performed to ensure that there's no elbow instability, because sometimes elbow instability can mimic tennis elbow pain. Finally, the medial side of the joint is inspected arthroscopically to ensure that there's no pathology here, and in this case it looks quite clean. The joint surfaces of the posterior medial joint can also be inspected. At the conclusion of the procedure, the patient has two arthroscopic incisions, as shown here, and a third one on the medial side of the elbow, which you cannot see. Patients are allowed unrestricted use of the arm, and after about three days can remove their dressings. Usually by six to eight weeks, pain relief is enough that patients are back to full work, manual labor, and leisure activities, although pain relief can even continue longer than that. By comparison, this is a patient who has an open elbow surgery, and this is their scar, which, as you can see, really is not that bad. Both surgeries are quite effective. Thank you for your interest. To learn more, join us at our website, www.nwoa.com. Thank you.